G'day guys and welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed that little intro. As I did mention in my uh, Blues Team Squad video, I will be doing a merch release which will be related to origin the original shirt where are we the original shirt with the entertain house youtube kind of link there on the back of the shirt there are still some plain tees available so do message me but there are going to be a limited release of boxing gloves next to each other one for the queenslanders one for the new south Wales. it's that time of year it's state of origin Let's get into the 20-man Queensland squad. As I did mention, I won't be at Game 2 in Queensland. I am devastated. I will be once again supporting Queensland from Game 3 in New South Wales, which could be a decider. However, Queensland have back-to-back -back games, so it is really an advantage for us in that sense. But uh, let's do it. Um, Puff, man, let's do it. Now, this is in apparent alphabetical order. There is no lineup exactly. I did see a lineup which had Reed Marnie in the nine earlier, but it could have been a predicted lineup in regards to someone's opinion. But let's get into the squad. Let's do it. Number one, Jai Arrow. Jai Arrow has been really good since coming to the South Sydney Rabbitohs. He was arguably great at the Gold Coast Titans as well, but he has been fantastic this season. Definitely deserves a spot in this team. Number two, well, not number two, but player two, AJ Brimson. AJ Brimson has not been the X factor that I saw last year from coming back from injury, which does worry me, and especially in the big stage if he is picked as our fullback. However, he's a fantastic player nonetheless. He had a great origin debut uh, last year in game two or three. I think it was game two. I believe it's game two. Um, he's definitely got a lot of talent about him. So I'm glad that AJ Brimson has been picked. Hopefully, he can get through his injury. He currently was injured against the Sharks. He didn't look good, but he has been cleared in the side. Three, Kurt Capewell. What a revelation for Queensland last year. Kurt Capewell was absolutely fantastic over in Adelaide, I believe it was. He had a huge game in that one. Same game, I believe, that AJ Brimson actually made his debut. Maybe it was game one. The more I think about it, maybe it was game one but Kurt Capewell has been fantastic for the Panthers their other second rower that fills in for Kurt Capewell Liam Martins in the New South Wales side so it'll be really good to see Kurt in the starting side up against his former Penrith Panther teammate but at the same time there are some forwards that could be in front of him Daily Cherry Evans now it doesn't have the C on Daily Cherry Evans I'm not sure if he is the captain of the side I'm assuming that he probably is the captain of the side, but Daly Cherry Evans has had a fantastic season nonetheless. He scored some sneaky tries too, so he might be uh, due a meat pie in the Origin series. Xavier Coates. Now, Xavier Coates has been up and down this season. I personally think that he his comments were wrong. He said that he hasn't been up to Origin standard. Mate, you've had a good season. You've been doing your best in a struggling club week in, week out. I think this man definitely deserves a spot, especially the energy that he brought to the Queensland team last year. Tino Fasua Ma'ali. I'm very, very excited to see what Tino can produce during the origin period. I think he's been good for the Titans, but like AJ Brimson, he hasn't had that X factor. Someone I'll be speaking about soon. Is he next? Two away, David Fafita. He obviously has had that X factor, in my opinion. He's a big boost for our side. And I mentioned in my New South Wales video that our forwards are probably a little bit better in regards to being in their key positions. I think that's how Paul Green will go about putting them in their retrospective positions in the second row, in the front row, rather than having three locks. I really think that New South Wales team is good, except for that, that forward issue there. Kyle Felt. Kyle Felt is always on the list of top try scorers. You can always rely on Kyle Felt. He's a very does-the-job kind of player who has been there for a long time, so he provides that ex the experience as well. Uh, David Fafita. David Fafita has been outstanding. He was quiet for the most part. There was still some tackle break against the Cronulla Sharks after his return from suspension. He has scored tries for fun. 
At one point, he was in the top five for the Dally M. He has been fantastic. Definitely deserves his spot. Moe Fodawaka. I mentioned X Factor at the Titans not being there, but for me, Moe Fodawaka has been one of the best players. His game against the Bulldogs was absolutely outstanding. For years, I've been watching this guy, watching him getting better and better, and he is going to rip apart in the origin stage. Dane Gagai, another player who provides so much experience. Dane Gagai will probably be in the centres or on the wing in this one. Uh, Harry Grant. Harry Grant was fantastic in Game 3 of Origin last year. He hasn't gotten to play too much footy this year due to injury. However, he can probably be Queensland's number 9. If not, he will definitely be in jersey number 14. There's no way that he's not on the field in Game 1. Cohen Hess. Cohen Hess has been okay at the Cowboys. I think he's had a fairly solid season. Definitely bounced back from the last two years being poor seasons. It was an interesting choice, but in regards to who there is to choose from, I think it's a pretty good choice. Valentine Holmes. If the game goes down to the wire, you can rely on a field goal from Valentine Holmes. How funny would it be if game one in Townsville, Valentine Holmes kicks a match-winning field goal for the mighty Maroons? That would be sensational to watch. Felice Cafusi, another experienced player. You can't not have Felice in the team. In the Melbourne Storm colours, I don't really like him. <laughs> um, he's a good player nonetheless. But when it comes to Queensland, he's always there. He's always about. I'm just so upset that his right-hand man to him on the side, always there, Josh Papali, will not be playing due to suspension. It really, really grinds my gears. You've done it, Reedy. Reed Marnie from the Parramatta Eels. He deserves this. I really hope he is either 14 or 9. If he doesn't get a spot in this team, I will be extremely disappointed. Just to be in the camp is going to be great for Reed, though. Reed is such a young player with so much talent, making 40, 50 tackles a game, making hardly any errors per game, leading Parramatta's attack through the middle, week in, week out, providing aggression, getting up and not sh showing that the little man can fight the big man. Absolutely love Reed Marnie, and I can't wait to see him. It made me so happy seeing him in a Queensland jersey today. It's so happy. You've seen me say it on the channel. You're going to be in a Queensland jersey at game, uh, not game days, at uh, fan days last year. I just, he... He deserved a spot in the camp last year, but not on the starting side. But for me, Reed has shown that he deserves a spot in the starting side. I feel like Harry Grant, if he is fit, will probably be the number nine. Reed in 14. I can't wait to see you on the big stage, Reed Marnie. Cameron Munster. I really have some question marks over this one. Cameron Munster is fully injured right now. Um, Melbourne Storm basically put that he's not great. Uh, but then they put another post that said, oh, he's he's great, he's ready for origin, Get looking forward to it. I don't know if this is the right thing. If Cameron Munster's not fully fit, gets onto a big stage with hard-hitting bodies like this, I'm wor very worried that his season could be over. He also could rip it up, just like he did in Game 3. So we'll have to wait and see on that one. Joe offerhang -Gowie. He's arguably been one of the shining lights at the West Tigers. Adam Dewey has been fantastic. But Joe Offengawi has put his all in each week, and he's took in that lock position quite well, I've thought. So I think it's a pretty good choice. Kalen Ponga, another player who isn't fully fit, but it definitely should be the Queensland fullback if he is fit. Um, he, he's had some great experience in that jersey. I don't think he was there last year. He was definitely there in 2019, um, and he's a fantastic player nonetheless. Jaden Sewer. Jaden Sewer has been quiet for the Rabbitohs for the most part, but again, he's been in the Queensland team for a while, so I can see why Paul Green has picked him, and I think it's a good choice. And Christian Welch. Now, Christian Welch is probably going to start for this one. I think Moe Fodawaker should start for it, but I feel like they will put Christian Welch in the starting time. It's a decent choice. Um, there are a few players from the Storm that I was surprised weren't picked, so Good to see Christian Welch get picked. I was surprised that Dale Finucan wasn't picked also for the New South Wales side. But overall, I'm pretty happy with the Queensland side. I'm happy that we've got game one in Townsville as well. I think it provides a huge advantage. I just wish I could get up to Queensland next year. I will be there. I'll be there supporting the Maroons live. I can't wait to do it. 
obviously this will be my third straight year or fourth straight year actually supporting the Maroons all the way from Sydney at ANZ Stadium. I'm not calling it Stadium Australia. Guys, what do you guys think of the Queensland team? Let me know in the comments. Make sure you do subscribe to the channel. Also, let me know if you guys want some of their limited merch release. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do you think the Queensland Maroons will win the Origin Series? If not, do you think the New South Wales Blues will win the Origin Series? Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys later.